Hey everyone, Fazzy back here today, and I wanted to make a part 2 to a video that I made earlier last week regarding EA and NHL's franchise mode wishlist. This video is mainly thanks to you guys. I saw a lot of great comments and feedback on the first video of stuff I didn't even think of when I was originally creating part 1, so I wanted to come back to with you today with part 2 with some of your best ideas and a few extra of mine that I thought of over the past few days. Starting out today is the addition of dynamic X-Factors into Franchise. This was something I didn't even think of at all when recording my initial video, but introducing dynamic X-Factors into Franchise mode would be so incredibly important. On screen is a perfect example of why we need this feature. Currently, this is Connor Bedard from EA's close current roster update. As you'll notice, he currently has no X-Factors. So if you load into our franchise mode with these rosters, Connor Bedard will never be able to develop or gain any X-Factors. Personally, I think a great solution to this would be to introduce some kind of training mode, where you could send one or maybe two players on your team to training where they could start to develop X-Factors. I do also want to note that as a player does get older, I do feel like they should regress and lose X-Factors, similar to how they do with overall and potential. The next feature is the reintroduction of the Winter slash Heritage Classic. So going into the 2023-24 season, we already do have announced that the Winter Classic will feature the Vegas Golden Knights taking on the Seattle Kraken and the Heritage Classic game between the Edmonton Oilers and the Calgary Flames. I think it would be so cool to be able to have these games scheduled between two teams in franchise mode. I believe the last time an outdoor game was in an NHL series was either NHL 12 or NHL 13. I think a really cool way to implement this in franchise mode would be if EA adds some kind of mini game where each team has to propose a bid to host one of these events, with the team that bids the highest getting to host this event against a team of their choosing. Up next is bringing back the all-star game in skills competition to the NHL series. This again is a feature that so many of us have been asking for and doesn't really make sense why the NHL All-Star Game isn't included in franchise mode. With it being one of the biggest weekends of the year for the NHL, you think you would like to promote it in their games. It is interesting because EA also already has the teams and the jerseys already made as they are in the default rosters each year. Personally, I don't have much hope that this feature will return anytime soon but it does really need to be more than just a blank date on the calendar. Next is more arena options for created teams. This is a relatively small update, so I'm not gonna spend much time on it. But why in franchise mode can't we use the semi-pro and junior stadiums for our created teams? I get it's not overly realistic having these smaller stadiums as NHL stadiums, but still, I think it would be really cool and would add some uniqueness to your franchise mode. Up next is controlling the ECHL in franchise mode. This again, just like a lot of other items on this list, is something that I've been confused with for years and I don't know why we can't control the ECHL in franchise mode, seeing that the league and all its teams are already in the game. Again, it's not a huge update, but I think it would be something that would be really helpful in developing prospects. Sometimes you have players that aren't good enough to play in the NHL or the AHL and they could use that kind of in-between league, like the ECHL. And just bringing up another example of a franchise who uses this is MLB The Show. They let you control the MLB, the AAA team, the AA team, and the Class A team when developing prospects, which is very useful. Next up is the introduction of a live world in franchise. So I can hear a lot of you asking, what is a live world and why do we need it in NHL? So at least my idea of a live world would be, let's say you're, try or you're acquiring Russian players for your team. Those players are likely going to only come from the draft, and that's the only way you're going to be able to get them. Where in the real world, that's not really always how that works. Perfect examples of this would be players like Artemi Panarin or Andrei Kuzmenko, players that didn't get drafted and ended up coming over to the NHL at a later date after they were more developed. This allows you to really need to take chances on these players as you really don't know what you're getting until they arrive to your team. This doesn't just go for Russia, that goes for all the rest of the European leagues as well, because there always are hidden gems out there. Also, I think it would be really cool if a player didn't receive an NHL contract for a following season, that they would have to return back to one of these leagues to try and make it back to the NHL. And lastly for today's video, having reverse retro logos for created teams. 
For me personally, this is one of my biggest asks, and I really don't think it's asking that much, and that is introducing the recently released reverse retro jerseys and being able to use those when creating a team. I know it probably comes down to a licensing issue, but why is it that they can use these logos on the jerseys themselves, but why can't we actually use them when doing our own creations? I've never understood that personally. I think it would be so cool to have a custom Islanders team use the Fisherman logo full time, or the Penguins use the Robo Pen, or the Buffalo Sabres use the Goathead logo. There's so many cool options out there, and I really hope EA can add this feature. And that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see added into NHL's franchise mode in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.